wasn't a bargain sale. Yeah, but it was worth it. We got some great bargains. Yes, we did. <laughs> Table for two, please. And just be a moment. You can stand over there. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You know, we make a great team at a bargain sale. <laughs> Thanks for running interference for me so I could get that last pair of 39-cent stockings. Well, that was the least I could do after what you did for me in the lingerie department. <laughs> Here's the chief. Yeah, come on. Put your stuff down there. Oh, Viv, look, there's a big sale at Bigelow's. How'd we happen to miss that? Look at that, dentures, $4.98. <laughs> Dentures, $4.98? Yeah, they're made in Japan. <laughs> Gee, it's too bad we don't need some. Why don't you buy them for your old age? Oh, <laughs> Mr. Mooney. Do you mind if we join you? Yes. Thank you. Ah, uh, Mrs. Mrs. Tom, I can please. Oh, don't. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Gee, that's a pretty gift. <laughs> Is it for someone? Well, yes, but it isn't a gift. It's a Bowser bag. <laughs> yes, I'm having some bones gift wrapped for my dog. Oh, Mr. Mooney. Oh, dear. <laughs> yes, ladies. Oh, just two cups of tea, please. Yes, ma'am. There you are. There we are. Oh. Oh. Well, are we, uh, are we all settled? Yes, I think so. Oh, nice, nice. Do you mind if I go back to my lunch? No, please do. <laughs> go right ahead. <laughs> We're just going to have some tea and then get right back to the bargain counters. <laughs> uh, what, uh, what is in this package? Oh, those are my fancy garters. Well, your fancy garters are on top of my liver. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, oh, that's too bad. Gee, I didn't see that, Mr. Mooney. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, this is going to taste good. Oh, I'll say it is. Ah. Hey. <laughs> My, that package is beautifully wrapped. It certainly is. Who's it for? Yeah, who's it for? Well, if you must know, it's for my wife. It's her birthday tomorrow. Oh, isn't that nice? You didn't forget your wife's birthday. How could I? She's been reminding me of it every day for the past six weeks. Oh. <laughs> what did you get her? Yeah, what'd you get her? Well, it's something that she's been wanting for a long time. What is it? Yeah, what is it? Well, it's a simply lovely sur... Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> oh, no, it's supposed to be a surprise, and it would no longer be a surprise if I told you to. You'd blab it all over town. Oh, Mr. Mooney, we would not. Come on, now, you can tell us. Yeah, you can tell us. It won't go any further. It won't go any further. I know it won't, because I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> well, if you feel like that, don't tell us. No. <laughs> Oh, Vivian, it's almost 2 o'clock. we got to get back to the battlefront. Okay. Gee, I'm sorry, Mr. Mooney, but we're going to have to go. Oh, you're just saying that to make me feel good. <laughs> oh, Mr. Yeah. Mooney. Oh, you are. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Funny yeah. I got it. Oh, oh, my goodness. Well, what's the matter? Mrs. Mooney just drove up. She mustn't see this. It's a surprise. She can't see it until tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. Give it to me. What? Give, Give it, it to you? Me. Yeah, I'll pretend it's mine. Oh, oh, all right, all right. Now, I'll, I'll pick it up later. Okay. And I'll take care of your check. Okay, okay. thank you, Mr. Mooney. Bye-bye. Uh, oh, uh, Mr. Carmichael. What? I know how nosy you are. So promise me you will not open that package. Mr. Mooney, I give you my word of honor, I will not open this package. <clears throat> Let's go by the doctors and have it x-rayed. <laughs> Bargain sale. Oh, black and blue. Well, a good bargain is worth a bruise or two. Viv, you better take off Mr. Mooney's package. I can't get these down. Just a minute. Ugh. Whew. There we are. Here. <laughs> I'd sure like to know what's in here. I'd give anything to know what he bought her. I think I'll open it. Now, Lucy, Lucy, you promised not to open that. Well, you didn't promise. You open it. <laughs> no. Aren't you curious? It really doesn't make any difference to me one way or the other. It's kind of heavy. Viv, 
it's ticking. Mr. Mooney bought his wife a time bomb. <laughs> That's your wristwatch you hear. <laughs> oh. Well, the way he talks about it, you never know. Now, you put that down and just forget it. That is none of your business. Well, I guess you're right. None of my business. Mr. Mooney wants to buy his wife a present. I guess that's just strictly between the two of them. <laughs> Nobody else really has any right to know what's in it. <laughs> Except me! <laughs> If I don't, I'll hate myself all night because I won't sleep a wink. Now, control yourself. I can't, Bill. I can't. Oh, honestly, you ought to join Package Openers Anonymous. Please, Bill, please. please. No, please, just no, let me have a little I am not going to let you open that. Please. You promised that you please, wouldn't. Please, Bill. <laughs> now, look what you did. <laughs> me? You did that. Sounds like it's broken. Well, now you're gonna have to open it because we're gonna have to see what it is because we're gonna have to get another one like it. Well, good, I get, at least get to see what it is. Oh, honest, honest to goodness, Lucille. You are the limit. <laughs> What's the matter? What is it? <laughs> a ceramic jigsaw puzzle. Penny, and what are we gonna do? Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll get a bottle of glue and we'll glue it all back together again. Then as soon as we see what it is, we'll go and get another one just like it. Vivian, you are a genius. Compared to you, yes, I am. <laughs> I'll start sorting out all these pieces. You're going to sort them out, and, and, and then you're going to put them all together. <laughs> if we don't know what it is. Lucy, you got me. Oh, Viv, I'm in such trouble. What am I going to do? Well, now, there are two things you can do. You can tell Mr. Mooney the truth. Yeah, I could do that. Mm -hmm. Or you can lie to him. I like that better. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll just have to tell him that... Oh, no. No, I can't lie to him. I can't lie to him. I'm just going to have to ask him where we got this thing, and I'm just going to have to go out and get another one just like it. Okay, if you want to do it the hard way. Well, I, I'll be able to worm it out of him. I can be very subtle, you know? Yeah. Hello, Mrs. Carmen. <laughs> Carmichael, why did you... How long have you been out there? I didn't hear the bell. You didn't hear the bell? You just slammed the door in my face. Oh, was that you? I thought it was a salesman. <laughs> Look, I stopped by. Oh, I'm so glad I... you did. Now, let me have your hat. Oh, no, 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 no. I now, stopped look... by to get that gift yes, for my I wife. Know. Let me have it, please. No, no, the gift you'll get, yes, but let's just sit down and have a hot cup of tea and no, talk for a little I, while. I don't have time. I have to be at a Chamber of Commerce meeting in 15 minutes. The gift, please. Huh? Yes, yes, the yes. gift. You know, Mr. Mooney, it is so beautifully wrapped. I'll bet that it is a very expensive, um... Yes, it is. Uh, I'll bet your wife will love it. Any woman would love to have a... one of those. Yes, and it happens to be the prettiest 
one of those that I could find. Well, where did you find it? Lucy, yeah? could I see you for just a minute? Yes, now you sit down, Mr. Mooney. Mr. Carmichael, uh, the gift, please. Yes, well, I'm in a hurry. Yes, Mr. Well, bring it right out. Did you find out what it is? No. Well, did you find out where he got it? No. He just said he wants it, and he wants it right now. Okay, then give it to him. I rewrapped it, and it looks just as good as new. <laughs> looks as good as new on the outside, but not on the inside. We can't give him this broken mess. Oh, yes, we can. Is it our fault if he was clumsy and dropped it? <laughs> he didn't drop it. We did. Well, he could drop it with uh, just a little help. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And we're just the kids that can help him. I thought you'd never catch on. Come on. Here's your gift, Mr. Mooney. Oh, thank you. Let me have it, please. Sure. Oh, Mr. <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael, this is breakable. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mr. Mooney. I don't know what came over uh, me. It was a stupid thing yeah. to do. Oh, look at the bow. It's coming off now. Let me have it now. The bow is it. perfectly all right. I'll no, take it home. No, now, Mr. Myself. Mooney, I insist no, on no, fixing just, the bow. Don't do you let me have it. All right. All right. right. Let me have it. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. What are you doing down there? Yes, Viv, what are you doing down there? For heaven's sake, get up. Well, uh, uh get up. Uh, now, now, let me take it and fix that bow. The bow is the really bow falling off. The bow looks lovely, off. really Mr. looks lovely. Mooney, Why do you want to take now, that away? I just want to take the present home to my wife, that's take all. That to Why are you grabbing it all the time? Like it looks lovely. I don't know what's wrong with it. <laughs> All right, fine. Thank you very much. Hey, Delightful. You Thank you very much. Oh, my goodness. What's the matter? Oh, it's all sticky on the bottom. <gasps> oh, oh, I accidentally spilled all that glue. Oh, oh. oh I'm terribly sorry. Oh. Here, I'll wipe it off. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, Isn't that no. Too bad? Now I'll have to have it rewrapped at McCullough's. McCullough's? <laughs> We're going to McCullough's. We're going to do some shopping there. We'll have it rewrapped for you. Don't you worry about now it. Now you go right mm -hmm. along and do what you have yes. to do. And you come back later and we'll have that yes. all rewrapped. Come back Don't later. Don't you worry. Yes. Yes. Don't you worry no. now. Why do these things always happen to me? Why me? I lead a good life. I'm a moral. I give to charity. I'm kind and considerate to... I'm kind to dumb animals. Me. Mr. Mooney, let Don't him. touch me! I'd rather be stuck to this door forever than stuck to either one of you for ten seconds! <laughs> could be any one of these things. Lucy, you think this could be it? Or could be. It's the same color. Uh-huh. But ours doesn't have a dimple. <laughs> Maybe it's one of those pieces left over. Yeah. Good afternoon, ladies. Good May afternoon. I help you? Yes. Uh, I'd like to ask you something. If you broke that and glued it back together again, would it look anything like this? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> That's what we're trying to find out. Yeah, do you know Mr. Mooney, the bank president? Mr. Mooney? Oh, yes, a very good customer. Well, he was in here this morning, and he bought something for his wife. And we've got to get another one just like it. Let me see now. Oh, I remember. Good. A ceramic cat. Uh, Mr. Gould? Yes. Oh, pardon me. This lady just bought that. He bought this for his wife. <laughs> boy, he must really hate her. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, uh, we'd like to buy that, please. Oh, I'm sorry. I just sold it to that lady. Oh. Oh, well, then we'd like to have one just like it. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're all out. Well, do you know where I might find one? Has anybody else got them? Oh, uh, Bigelow's had one in their window. Bigelow's well, had them? Oh, thanks a lot. It may still be there. Well, yeah, well, well, like a zombie, so mechanical. No brains, no personality. He's still an improvement over my ex-husband. Oh, come on. <laughs> Let's get the cat. It's closed. Oh, you and your mechanical man. Oh, Lucy, I'm sorry. I didn't oh, think about it being closed. Sake. What are you going to do? Oh, for heaven's sake. Just what are you girls doing? Uh, we, we, we were just locking up. We work here. Oh, yeah, it's been an awful day. I'm exhausted, Lucy. Let's go home, huh? Yeah, I'm yeah. tired, yeah. Good night, officer. Uh, yeah, it's, it's Good locked. Night. Good night, officer. <laughs> now, what are you coming back for? You can't get in tonight. We'll have to wait till tomorrow. Oh, I can't wait till tomorrow. Mr. Mooney's picking it up tonight. Maybe there's somebody still in there. Open up. Please open up. Oh, dear. Hey, Viv, you see what I see? What do you see? An open transom. <laughs> now, Lucille, you can't go in there and steal that cat. I'm not going in there and steal anything. If I can get that cat out of that window, I'll, I'll leave a note and I'll leave the money. But we might get caught in there. What would happen if somebody came oh, and caught stop us? stop talking and give me a boost. Oh, Lucy, I think... Give me a boost. <laughs> there, now. Wait till, I get, wait, wait till I get this foot here, and then you give me a boost. Where do you want me to? Right there. <laughs> get over near the building. Oh, wait just a minute, girl. <laughs> Boy. Okay? Are you all right? So if I can get up here. Can I help you? Yeah, anymore? watch you. Just watch for the policeman. Okay? Yeah. Lucy, here he comes. Ah. <laughs> Hello there, officer. You still here? Yeah, I'm just waiting for my lift. Well, where's your friend? Uh, she already got her lift. Well, I hope you will <laughs> Good night. You're sure of that? Oh, I'm absolutely sure. I'm not afraid of anything. Good night. should call you a taxi. Oh, no, don't bother to call me a taxi. I'm perfectly all right. Well, I better stick around here. You know, you never can tell in this neighborhood. 
You gonna stick around? Well. they got there, you know? Yeah. That's wonderful. They sure do look real, don't they? Yeah, I guess they do. I never could tell the difference, you know. <laughs> be a human being with that color hair. Just finished in time. Okay. Did you get my gift, Brad? Yes, there, there it, is. it is. Oh, it looks lovely. Thank you very much. That's Thank all right. You. Wish Irma a happy birthday. Oh, we did it. Oh, Mr. Moody. Oh, my God. 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 Oh,